Hi, myself Dr. Jaya Prakash Shetty. I am a prosthodon and dissident implantologist. Currently practicing at Chandra Layout. The clinic name is Asanamba Dental Care. And also I am working as a professor and head of the department of prosthodontics. And the university name is Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. The patients with bridges generally complains of food depositions beneath the pointic region. But depending upon the bridges, either it is tooth supported bridges or implant supported bridges, the patient requires oral hygiene status. If the pointic design is sanitary design, the maintenance of the bridges is very very less or it is not at all required. But most of the cases, when the patient complains of deposition underneath the bridges of the food debris, calculus or any formation of food formation, one has to use the floss or the patient has to brush twice daily. They can also use interdental toothbrushes. The cleaning of the tooth twice daily is much more easier and convenient to the patient. Using a dental floss is also makes a bridges clean and maintain the proper oral hygiene status. Golden standard of cleaning is using the dental floss is generally says that universal method. But the method the patient is going to use is also makes a very very important thing. The thing is the patient should know how to use the flossing of the nylon flosses instead of flossing the cement of the tooth the one which is going to retaining of that bridges. And also the patient should be very careful instead of removing the bridges or instead of making the losing of the bridges one should know the technique of using the dental floss. And one more thing depending upon the interdental spaces the dentist can advise interdental toothbrushes. Interdental toothbrushes are available in the market with the sizes of 0.4 mm to 1.5 mm. So interdental toothbrushes not only avoiding the plug formation or calculus formations, they remarkably reduces the gingivitis or the periodontal diseases and they can also eradicate the pocket formation if the patient use properly by using a cleaning methods. Depending upon the patient's requirement, the dentist can advise either dental floss, either interdental toothbrushes or other interdental cleaning aids. Interdental cleaning aids are not only avoiding the patient's gingivitis, bleeding, they can also maintain the proper oral hygiene status very well. And also the dentist can advise the digital massage with bare finger to the gums. They can increase the good blood supply to the gums and also it can avoid the recession of the gums and they can also avoid the food depositions or the food depreases beneath the bridges. The dentist can also advise users of using a lukewarm water along with a pinch of salt and also by using a regular dental checkups they can keep the dental bridges with oral hygiene status very well. If the patient is having continuous bridges or multiple bridges in the patient's mouth they can also use water flossers or oral Jets, oral uh, irrigators they can also use in order to clean the multiple bridges. The oral jetters are the thing is they forcibly clean the interdental depositions by spraying the water uh, very forcibly to avoid the food formation or food accumulation and also they can maintain the health of the uh, ridges beneath the dentures. I mean to say this fixed partial dentures.